Hey guys, good morning. Today is Sunday, the 24th. It is two months until Christmas Eve. <laughs> so let's see here. In two months, I will more than likely be either at my sister's house or my in-laws. That's fun to think about. Probably at my sister's house. We usually do Christmas Eve at her house and then we go to my in-laws house and stay pretty much most of the day Christmas Day. After the morning, we have our own little Christmas here in the morning. And then we go and hang out at my in-laws and eat and open presents and just hang out and play with everything we got. <laughs> I'm looking so forward to that. Anyways, it is close to 11. It's getting time for my shot almost. I'm waiting for my alarm to go off. Look at my beautiful plant. That's my pothis. When I bought it at Walmart, it was almost dead. It had like maybe like eight ish leaves up here just that's it <laughs> and it was completely dry like the dirt just came right out of the pot and it was just dry it was almost dead so we replanted it and uh we take care of it and look at it it's got all these beautiful vines and it started putting out marbled leaves which is beautiful and it's still growing it's so nice anyways <laughs> uh i'll see here jesse played the end this morning i did some crocheting on my mid midwife blanket uh I cleaned the bathroom. And I'm recovering from that. <laughs> I'm tired. I was just going to wipe it down a little bit. And I ended up deep cleaning it more than I was expecting to because it needed it. Bad. But it's nice and clean. I cleaned it with Clorox spray because I think it needed something a little bit heavier today <laughs> than I normally clean it with just like my Mrs. Myers. Uh, but I went ahead and cleaned it really good. <laughs> but it's nice and clean and pretty. It smells good and clean. Uh, I'm sitting here. I'm just sitting here at my sewing machine. I got some more bags I gotta finish up. The uh, shop update's tomorrow, but I'll have them done by then. I'm not worried about it. I'll do a little bit today and a little bit tomorrow I'll be done. And yeah, I never did put the laundry up. It's still hanging over there. And the bags that I got done are laying down there in the basket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today. I wanna crochet, but I don't wanna crochet. <laughs> I have no energy. I did work on my midwife blanket this morning. I finished a section of purple and almost finished a section of the multicolor. I'm wanting to go to Sam's Club, but I don't want to go to Sam's Club. <laughs> There's stuff there that I want. We need some more grapes, and uh, I want to get some a big canister, a big box of chicken noodle soup. Come out, and that's my favorite soup. I eat that all the time. <laughs> um, this morning I was out, so I ate a can of chicken and rice soup, which I bought when the store was out of chicken noodle soup, and it's just not as good. I ate it anyways, though. I got some tomato soup left, too, which I also like. I like having soups on hand because it's just something easy for me to heat up and eat when I don't feel like cooking. I gotta figure out what to make for dinner. I gotta figure out what to thaw out for dinner. We got all kinds of chicken in there. I'm getting tired of chicken, but we gotta eat through it. I don't know what I wanna make, though. I love chicken thighs, but Devin's not a big fan of them. I might thaw some chicken thighs, and he's just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> He'll eat it anyways. He's just, he doesn't prefer it. I love chicken thighs and chicken wings better than breast. They got so much better flavor. With his skin. I'm not one of those healthy people that peel the skin off. That skin is... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, I'll probably just make some chicken thighs. Maybe I'll put, uh, either like a spicy rub on them. Or some kind of Asian-themed something <laughs> and then cook it with just potatoes or something on the side i don't know we're out of a lot of fresh stuff we got potatoes that's it <laughs> i need to go i might go to sam's club tomorrow after i drop jesse off at school because then i can go by myself and it won't be so stressful because <laughs> when devin or jesse go with me um we spend a lot more than i but i plan for <laughs> and uh i want to get some soup i want to get some grapes because sam's club has the best grapes uh, probably some cucumbers because the ones that we buy there last way longer than the ones we buy at Walmart. Uh, maybe some Brussels sprouts if they got them and they look good. Maybe some kiwis if they got them. And I want to get some like freezer things that are easy to just make real quick for when I don't feel good. Some um, pizzas or something. I don't know. Yeah. I think today's going to be a slow day because I'm tired. I had a lot of energy when I woke up and then I used it cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> But uh, I cleaned up the kitchen too a little bit. Can't 
tell it, but there were some dishes that couldn't go in the dishwasher that I washed. I loaded dishes into the wash dishwasher that could. Uh, I picked up some, some random stuff around the house. And now I'm sitting here waiting for time to take my shot. <laughs> I can't quit looking at my plant. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. My other ones are doing good too. They're behind here. I'll show you them. We brought them all in because it gets cold at night now. I gotta move slow. My lower stomach is hurting so bad from standing, I guess, yesterday at that fall festival. Whew, I gotta move slow. <laughs> Sometimes I have to stand up and then just like stand there for a minute. <laughs> this is hurting a lot more than Jesse did. All right. So right here's my gold flick. This one. It has gotten tall. It was about this tall when we bought it. It's gotten that tall. It's almost up here where we, I keep this blind open so that they can get light. So it's getting tall. It's got lots of new growth on it. I need to repot it soon. And I'm actually going to put my ficus, which is right here, in this pot. This one's going to get a new pot. <laughs> this is my ficus. It had three leaves on it when we bought it. Down here at the bottom. Those three bottom leaves. And now it's this big. And the leaves are beautiful and marbled or whatever it's called. So here's a new leaf coming in. It needs to be repotted bad too. But like I said, I gotta get dirt. I need to do that. Maybe the next time Devin's off work. So that we can put the ficus in the gold flake pot and the gold flake in a new pot. <laughs> and then this is my snake plant. I didn't know these bloom. Mine hasn't yet. But apparently they, they can grow a little like a flower stalk and bloom. So that's cool. And my baby one is right here. It's kind of big. This needs to be where potted too because I think it needs new soil. The soil's got like a weird color to it. I don't know if you could tell it. And this this is kind of like a desert type plant, so you don't have to water it once in a blue moon. And it is still wet from where it rained outside on it a few weeks ago. And it's still wet. I had to water the rest of them yesterday or the day before that. I can't remember. Because uh, they were completely dry. And that's how I do my plants. <laughs> I let them get completely dry and then water them. That way I don't get gnats. Because I found out that's how you get gnats. It's by overwatering your plants. This little guy just taking forever to dry out. That's because they don't use a lot of water. But he's still growing strong. Got new growth. You can see it way down in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But way down in there there's a new little leaf coming up. <laughs> and uh, you got the little baby. There's other little plants growing in here. I've seen them. There's little leaves sticking out. But they're not snake plant leaves i don't know what it is something from where it was outside probably I'll, i'm gonna wait and see what it is and then i'll pluck it out pluck it out but yeah i need to put that on my to-do list to get these pots done my ficus needs it bad ficus is our trees just making noise so you can see mine's starting to bark down at the bottom can you see that and i don't know if i'm supposed to take these lower leaves off i gotta look into that i don't know i just bought it because it was cute and now it's getting big and i gotta figure out what to do with it <laughs> But they, grow, they can grow up to 12 feet tall. So I'm hoping by the time we get a house, it'll be nice and big. And we can put it in a big giant pot that just sits somewhere forever. The same thing for my gold flake. They get tall too. Not quite as tall. I think they get uh, like five or six feet tall. I don't know about snake plants much at all. But I'm just happy I had a baby. My mom's had three babies. My mom's is growing straight up like the ones you see mostly. Mine's all spread out, and I think it's because the pot's too big. Because snake plants do like to be crowded. And he's got more room than he needs, I think. So, Because the baby, so far, has grown straight up. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. They're fine with that. I just love my pothos. I come in here sometimes and just look at it and, like, touch its leaves. Because it's doing so good. <laughs> um, they, they might struggle a little during the winter. Because a lot of times houseplants do. You know, leaves fall off stuff. But it's just because the, the, the air's humid inside when um, the heat's running. So, uh, I've read that you could run humidifiers in the rooms that they're in. So, when we got one of those, so I might put it in here and run it just to help the plants out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the floor now and I'm comfy. Lord, look at all my stuff. I got so much stuff. <laughs> this is just all my crafting stuff that's not yarn. I go through it every now and then, but I then I buy more. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to record much today. I'll try to pop in some clips here and there. I will, I'll show dinner whenever I make it because I love people always interested in what I cook for dinner and for recipes. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'll use my barbecue rub. That's really good. It's spicy. I love it. And it's got brown sugar so when you cook in the oven it gets nice and like crunchy and, and it's so good on that chicken thigh skin. 
<laughs> with potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll cook that because that'll be easy. I'll just put it on one pan and cook it in the oven and uh, eat it. <laughs> I'll probably dive into indigestion. I've had indigestion really bad for the last few days. Uh, normally, my, my heartburn, heartburn pill that I take every day helps, but the last few days it's just been really bad. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it'll not get too bad, but oh well, it's off. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take my shot here in a few minutes. The alarm should be going off pretty soon. I can't see the clock. Let me look. Oh yeah, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to maybe sew or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll find something to do. It's late, late for us. <laughs> it's a little after nine. I just got Jesse to bed. A little late today, which is bad because it's Sunday and a school night. But um, we, gosh, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> um, what was I saying? We did go to the two trick or treats. Uh, they're both churches. One was a drive-through, which was nice. I like that because <laughs> I'm lazy. And the other one was a outdoor, you know, trick or treat. And it was very full. It took forever to go through it all because there were so many people in line, you know. And we was just, you know, waiting in line. <laughs> but it was fun. The kids had a fun time. Got tons of candy. And I got, me and Jesse ate hot dogs and popcorn again. <laughs> Take it in a row. Um, and we got cookies. And, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Juice. <laughs> um, we came back home. My sister... And her husband brought us home and then they hung out here for a, about maybe an hour so that the boys could play together because they don't get to see each other that much and they're the only cousins each other have <laughs> i mean my nephew has cousins on his dad's side but uh my sister's son is the only cousin he has on my side and um other than you know like grown-up ones so uh yeah it was nice they got to play together towards his bedroom apart <laughs> And uh, I just got to spend some time with my sister, and it was nice. But they left, and then I had to get Jesse ready for bed. He said we were behind schedule. <laughs> and I got him in bed. Uh, I got his teeth cleaned and his um, book read to him. And snuggled him up and kissed on him, and he's asleep. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up the living room a little bit. It's kind of messy. Just Jesse paraphernalia everywhere. <laughs> and I want to clean up the kitchen just a smidge. Because I cleaned it mostly after dinner. But there's still a few little things that need to be done. And then I think I might sit here for a little while and crochet on my spider blanket. And wait for Devin to go on his lunch break. I don't always stay up for his lunch break, but I do like to talk to him. And today we had to leave the house before he left for work. So uh, I want to talk to him. So I'm going to stay up and talk to him on his lunch break. And then I'm going to go to bed. I'm actually not super tired. I'm like physically tired, you know, because I'm pregnant and all that stuff, but I'm not like sleepy tired. So I'm going to just clean up a little bit, make sure I got his school stuff together, <laughs> uh, make sure everything is in his binder. I need to put his money for his field trip in there and for the book fair in there and lay out his clothes and my clothes for in the morning <laughs> so it's easy to get dressed and then uh, crochet a little bit. I'll probably watch you some YouTube videos while I crochet and uh, yeah. I did stop by the Dollar Tree and picked up a few things. Me and my sister went in. Oh, let me get up. I'm wearing my shirt, but I can't show you because I'm not wearing a bra. <laughs> I will insert a picture of me wearing it earlier. 
stomach is so sore. <laughs> I did get a new um, reusable bag. One of the churches we went to. Uh, the drive through one, they hook bags to your car for the amount of kids you have, and then they put the candy in there. So this is all the candy he got from two trunk or treats. This is a whole big fruit bowl of candy from two trunk or treats. Plus, we got this bag of cookies. They're like homemade cookies. We got two hot dogs, two things, two bags of popcorn. He got some cotton candy, but I didn't want any cotton candy. And uh, we got juice. Uh, like Capri Suns. That's a lot. We also got two full-size candy bars, and I'm keep. He can have the Reese's, but the Kit Kat's mama's. <laughs> but um, we also got like a little goodie bag. We had hand soap in it, and tissues, and sanitizer, and, and um, some sticky notes, which I've been needing, and I keep forgetting to buy. A pen and a tube of chapstick, <laughs> which is nice. And then he also got some little toy-like things. A bouncy ball and a ring that like glows and stuff. Anyways, it was just fun. So I went to the Dollar Tree with my sister. And I got me a hole punch. This is a three hole punch. I have a regular one and it's so hard to use. And I saw that and I grabbed it. I also got this little, um, it's like a phone stand. So you can prop your phone up on it and like watch videos. Because that's what I do. I got this cool pointer thingy. Because <laughs> I thought it would be funny in videos if I ever, you know, like if I want to point to something. <laughs> I don't know. And then I also got this. It's just, it looks like an envelope. And it's a dry erase thing that I could put like Jesse's school sheets down in. And then he can write on it with his little marker board marker. And we can erase it and reuse the paper. So that's nice. I never seen those before. So I grabbed one of those. It, I was in a different Dollar Tree than ours. And it was much nicer. But yeah, so I'm going to clean a little bit, get this video edited, and try to get it up. And, uh, crochet until Devin goes on break so I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a vlog tomorrow's Monday I don't remember what video I have planned for tomorrow I don't know I was looking at my phone but I'm using my phone so I will see you guys tomorrow on something <laughs> and uh yeah I'll insert some pictures and stuff from the trunk or treats if I could I haven't looked at them yet I tried to not get too many other people's kids in there so it really depends on how many kids are in it <laughs> if I can blur them out I'll blur them out but uh yeah I'll insert them if I got any good ones but they they got a big old bucket this is just Jesse's candy my nephew got just as much and it's just two trunk or trees that's a lot of candy <laughs> but uh yeah so I will see you guys tomorrow anyways